Hello, in this video I'm going to show the AI features that you might not know about on Vivo V60 Lite. Okay, uh, we can begin with the AI that we can use in the notes, uh, and I'll show you a few things that we can do. So first, uh, I'll show you how to you can how you can entrance your notes. So for example, in here I have an article about uh, history of the car. Uh, and it was already even uh, fully, uh, almost fully generated by AI. So if you want to use the AI, you need to select uh, the text in your note. And also, if you want to use it, you need to have at least 200 characters. Okay, now we have the AI creation. Uh, and uh, if you are launching it for the first time, there's a huge chance that it won't appear. Mm, it will tell you to sign in into your Vivo account. Mm, it is necessary to use that feature. If you don't have an account, you can create it. It's completely for free, so don't worry. Uh, okay, and then here we have features such as smart layout, summarize, extract to dose, and translate function. Let's begin with the smart layout, maybe. So now it's going to simply generate mm, the text, so it will look in the best way, just like that. Pretty cool thing. Uh, if you want to mm, save the changes, uh, select mm, confirm. Uh, Insertion, just like that. Now everything has been successfully uh, replaced. Now let's try to uh, copy the whole text once again. Uh, then click on the AI. Now let's try the summarize function. Okay, that's how it works. If you want to save it, click on confirm. Let's use the AI once again. Now we have extract to dose. Oh, actually, in this in this case, it didn't uh, it didn't work. Uh, but let's try to translate this time. Okay, select all uh, AI and translate. Now let's select also the language and uh, the target language. Mm, simply scroll down. In here, you have a list of uh, languages that you can translate into. So let's try to uh, translate, for example, into Spanish. Select the language. And then click on translate and you can see that everything is being generated right now so that's how it works okay if you want to save click on confirm that's how we can use the ai in our notes uh, let's get forward mm, we also have the ai eraser when it comes to the mm, photos so, but first let's create uh, one photo for example of anything Okay, I have just taken a photo, uh, click on OK, and you can see that, uh, let's say we want to uh, erase this this logo right in here, which is laying next to, next to the phone. To do it, click on the Edit button, and let me only adjust the brightness because it has increased a little too much. Now click on the Edit button, now scroll to the right side. Uh, select AI Erase and now select uh, the thing that you would like to erase. Uh, you can also mm, use the manual uh, smudge uh, function, uh, but in my opinion a smart circle which is the first option works much much better. We can also remove uh, people if there are some on the photo and we can also erase the uh, inflection. Erase inflection on the glass, you can see that. Uh, now, let's try to erase that, simply select it. Okay, now it's uh, identifying the object. Now, if you want to erase it, oh, something went wrong actually. I want to erase it completely. Let's do it once again. Okay, sometimes it uh, leaves a reflection like that, like this shadow. But don't worry, you can mm, circle it once again, and now it should be deleted properly. Okay, now, now it works and looks just fine. Uh, if something like, like that happens to you, just like to me, this uh, that some part wasn't deleted properly, simply try to circle it once again, and it should uh, look okay this time. Uh, if you want to save it, click on this button, click on save, and now everything has been changed. So that's the original photo and that's the photo when we have erased this logo, this piece of 
plastic. So that's how the ear erase works, which is also pretty cool function. Mm, okay. Uh, I'm wondering there's something more that I would like to show you. Mm, I can also show you the Gemini, which is our AI a assistant. Uh, works really cool. Mm, so I'll show you a few things that we can do with it. Uh, when it comes to the uh, Gemini, mm, you can ask him about anything, anything that you want. You can also give him uh, simple tasks. Um, simple. For some people, it might not be... Uh, they might not be simple. Uh, but uh, I'll show you a few examples how you can use the Gemi Gemini. Of course, I highly recommend to try on your own what uh, what he can do. So uh, let's say that uh, we are hungry and we would like to eat some mm, pizza. We can ask the Gemini mm, where is the nearest uh, pizza and how to get there. We can get directions. Uh, to launch the Gemini, we need to hold the power button for a few seconds, it will appear. You can use voice comments to communicate with him or simply manually type on your keyboard. I'll show you uh, the voice comments. Where is the nearest uh, pizza? Uh, because I'm really hungry. And please get directions there. happy to help you find some pizza. The closest open pizza place near you right now is the pizza. It's just 240 meters away and the walking directions will take you about six minutes. The pizza address Lubelska 16 slash LU7 3003 Krakow. Rating 3.6 star. Okay, enough of the reading. Uh, you can see that everything went successfully. We can, we have the address and we can start uh, our trip there. So that's how the uh, Gemini works. Really, really cool thing. Let me show you maybe something uh, else. One more thing. Um, let's say that uh, we are planning a trip and we would like to quickly know what is uh, the current weather in New York, let's say. Let's ask the Gemini about the answer. What's the weather right now in New York? New York, United States. It's 12 and cloudy. Today, it'll be cloudy with a high of 12. Okay, so that's how uh, it works. If you click on the plus button, you can also um, take a photo and send it to the Gemini and, for example, ask uh, ask him what it is or search for similar things in the, in the internet. Uh, he'll do the job for us. Uh, if you click on that icon, you can start the live mode with the Gemini. Hi, I'm Gemini. We're about to go live can explore complex topics or ideas just by talking. But before we get started, take a quick look at this important information. Okay, so that's the live mode. Uh, you can um, talk with the Gemini in the live mode uh, and again, ask him about anything, uh, speak with him about, just like I'm saying, about anything. Uh, everything is about you and your uh, creativity. Uh, of course, all of... Uh, chats are the safe you can read about it right in here uh, so let me have a quick conversation with the Gemini I'll show you a few things and then I'll show you how where to find this uh, safe to chat so click on okay right. let's start chatting whenever you're ready uh, you know what I need to get to the airport as soon as possible could you please give me directions there I'm traveling by car by the way best directions. Could you tell me which airport in New York you're heading to? For example, JFK, LaGuardia, or Newark. Also, where are you starting from? Uh, I would like to get into JFK airport and I'm uh, starting from uh, city center, from the Times Square actually. Hello? Got it. From Times? Hello there. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's uh, 
tell me about those directions how to get get into JFK airport from the Times Square in New York okay so from Times Square you'll want to head south on 7th Avenue and then take a left onto 40th Street to get on the Lincoln Tunnel access road after going through the tunnel you'll want to follow signs for I-495 or the Long Island Expressway heading east and then transition to the Belt Parkway East, which has signs for JFK Airport. Would you like more details on the specific exits to... Okay, if you want to uh, end it, simply click on X. Uh, and you can see that um, in here we have um, all uh, our whole conversations and we can, you know, copy this whole text and, for example, paste it into Google Maps and then start our trip. Alright, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.